the traditional museum experience. It's quite non-interactive, it's quite sort of cerebral, intellectual, and we really wanted to make something that was just different. SMK came to us with a wish of making one of their paintings more interactable, more alive, and we, uh, we wanted to do that using AR. The painting that we chose to work with is by the Dutch artist Cornelis van Hallen. It depicts a scene from Greek mythology, the titans that lost the battle with the gods of Olympus. It's kind of nerve-wracking to always to work with someone who made a real nice painting. So we don't want to go too far away from the original one. We wanted to give it sort of a, a wow factor. Initially, it's just a flat painting as you usually would see it. You activate the filter pointing your camera at the artwork. Then two butterflies come flying towards you. And after that happens, the painting comes alive. You see butterflies sort of starting to flutter around you, moving in front of your phone. And become part of your world by landing on top of the painting when you interact with it. I made the butterflies fly really silly by using the actual butterflies from the painting, which I made into a 3D model. Then I animated its wings and I sped up their animation based on their trajectory and where they were going. Once they land on the painting, they get a different speed on their wings, so they just sit and kind of flap a little bit once in a while, just as when you watch a real butterfly. You can see titans falling in the background. And as you walk around in the painting, if you move left or right, you will see this kind of effect. So it seems to extend through the, uh, the wall of the gallery. And that creates a very unexpected effect that has impressed many of the users of the filter. When you are a painter, you, you kind of want to paint in depth. So that was always a goal for us, to make something that seemed more three-dimensional than you can actually achieve on a flat canvas. We gave the picture digital depth by taking this 2D imagery and making it three-dimensionally. We did this by taking the image and cutting it to smaller pieces. Then we took these pieces and layered them three-dimensionally. Thus, when you walk with it, around it with your phone, the imagery moves differently. The process of making this filter was actually pretty fast. I thought it was pretty agile and very elegant. This was probably one of my favorite AR projects to work with because it's such an interesting task and, and very usable as well. You could see a painting come to life in front of your eyes and I think that makes this a really cool and fun project to work on. It's not an alternative. You can still do your traditional thing, but here you have a kind of a break adding an element of playfulness to an otherwise sometimes quite serious experience. The benefits of using Instagram for this app is it's very available and it's very novel. It's something younger generations use. So maybe it can also aspire some more interest when you have these kinds of settings at a museum. I personally would like to see a wide variety of technologies that either enhance your experience of the art that enhance your understanding, that increases learning, or that simply enables you to visit the museum in new and playful ways. And I think that VR and AR are suitable for all these purposes. We are, in a sense, scratching the surface of what can be done and what probably will be done.